know, normally in a, well, there isn't really much normal at the moment, is there? In a situation like this, the first people I would turn to help would be my family. But my kids live in London, my mum lives on the other side of the country, and there's not a great deal I can do at a practical level for them. But, you know, every street is full of somebody's children, somebody's mother, somebody's father. So you kind of, you're taking care of the families that are close to you, even though they're not your family. And in that way, if other streets in other parts of the country did it as well, the model seems to be there. The model, you know, can work and can be used in lots and lots of places. So I guess it would be lovely. If it carries on and is good for our street, that's brilliant. If other people want to do it too, well, that's fantastic. The, the shop came about because, well, for three things, really. One was we've got about 40 households in the street. And uh, so that's 40 lots of shopping trips to a supermarket with queues and all the rest of it. If we could get all of those condensed into one or two trips by one person, then you know, we'd be enormously cutting down on the amount of contact that people had to have. The other was that even now we've got people isolating, self-isolating in the street, uh, and that can only, you know, that's only going to grow. So I think that uh, if we can find a way of getting food to them, then that's got to be a good thing. And the third reason was that, you know, everybody's focused on the supermarkets and the supermarket supply chain. You know, there's a huge strain on that. And um, so what we're doing is we're focusing on the local shops. And that means that those companies, which otherwise could lose trade and, and disappear, um, you know, they, they're getting trade in the meantime. Yeah, on a Monday and Thursday morning, people bring their bags to the garage here. The bags have got their shopping list in them and the bags are sanitized beforehand. And of course, hygiene is such an important part of all of this. So, you know, when we're handling the bags, the volunteers, we're, we're wearing gloves. We put them in the back of a car, which has got a plastic or a tarpaulin in it. That's been sanitized. So we have to treat everything as though it could be carrying the virus, really. Then all of those things get taken down to the shops. And, uh, and, and dropped off. And then by the next morning, the shopkeepers have filled the orders inside the bags, they've put the stuff through their tills, and they've put the bill inside each of the bags. So then, what they do is they put them on the street outside the shops and we can pick them up from there. So it's brilliant because it's completely cutting down on, on any kind of human contact. Then we bring them back to the garage here, set them out, make sure we've made a note of what each person has spent. And, uh, and then people come and collect their bags from the garage. Grant has created a really straightforward and attractive website. We browse, choose what we want, and there's a vast selection, and then we write down on a piece of paper um, our choice for the week or for that half of the week. And then we pop that into a plastic bag in which we've written the number of our house. I literally have to just walk across the road, drop it in the garage. And then the next day, like magic, the food I need for the week is there, waiting for me in the garage again to collect. And when that's all done, Grant will tell us how much we owe for that shop and we do a bank transfer. I would encourage other people to explore the options in their area for creating something like this. If it is something that anybody else wants to do, um, on the website, queenvicshop.org, uh, I put a page uh, which uh, the About page sets out everything that we do so it's a really easy template that somebody can say oh okay I can take that I can do it elsewhere um, I think the thinking has been done so you know if other people do want to take it on they just need to get in touch with their community and their local shops